Levi Carter with L&W Fabrication come in, and he's going to show you how to change out the tie rod. He's going to pull it off, uh, remove the boot, install it onto the new tie rod, and put it back in, and we'll be ready to assemble our front end back and complete this install of upgraded A-arms by L&W Fabrication, tie rods, and also Kettle Performance products. All right, Levi, if you're ready, we're ready for you to step in and take this thing over. All right, so uh, we'd already done a little bit of prep work removing the, uh, the pieces that hold the inside of the boot. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to come and you'll have to turn it from the outside. Um, there's a little groove that's inside on the inside the boot. You'll release it and you'll be able to back it out. We'll check out this whole thing here. All right, so he's got it removed. Um, so there's a snap piece that holds the boot on. So what's the easiest way to do it, Levi? Is to take the front off and slide it off? Yeah, I always just take this side off and we do it. Okay. Just pull it off. So we don't risk ripping that. Yeah, so if you rip your boot from the inside, there's really no way to keep this thing where it's going to be able to, to hold in the, the grease and stuff that's onto the actual steering rack itself, and you risk harm to your steering rack. The boots are not cheap, and uh, they're not always readily available at your, just your local parts store. It's something you'll have to order OEM. All right, so he's removed the front side of the shaft. Um, with, their, with these models, they come out about in half. Uh, he'll remove the nut from the center, and then he'll be able to slide the boot right off of it. Levi has removed the boot, um, and he's actually took it off the end of the old one, and he's just going to slide it onto the tip. So the diameter is a little wider on the square L and W product, but it will slide on there, um, and it is a nice tight fit. Um, so you don't have to worry about it moving around too much. Uh, when I say it's tight, it's pretty tight. You gotta you gotta get after it. Um, this is probably the hardest part of the the whole process for sure is getting this boot back on. Uh, but it is important to take your time, get it on there, not damage it. Uh, some of you guys may have some boot, boot stretching tools. Um, we're actually just manually doing this here today um, just to show you that it can be done. It's been about three days. <laughs> we're tired. We've worked on this thing. I tried to tell you that we was going to do it with regular tools to show you it can be done. And uh, it can be done. Um, but I told them to do it the wrong way, and Levi was listening to me. This actually just slips on this end because this is uh, this style. And then you just take the, the jam nut, you run your jam nut onto this, and then you take this side and put it into the end of the steering rod and your boot's already assembled. It's very simple, uh, it's a smooth process. Um, that whole other nonsense that you've done, that was just us being funny, so. Disregard that. Um, so tell me a little bit while we're doing this, you do, do you have custom misalignments that y'all send with these? Yes sir, it comes with everything to bolt it on. So it comes with everything to bolt it on. So you got adjustability here, then you also have adjustability just like the stock on the back side as well. Yep. And then as the misalignments come, is it one, two, or how does that work? Two-piece. It's a two-piece misalignment. All right, so we'll show you the misalignments when we get ready. Um, so that's what's all included. Everything's direct bolt-on, just like with everything with L&W Fab. You should never should have run. to modify anything to be able to use any of these products, which is uh, very nice for your standard guys who aren't working in a big welding shop or maybe don't have the biggest automotive shop. This is for everybody, from the racers, the racing the toughest races in the world, all the way to the guy just getting started on this off-road journey. All right, so you're gonna see now, he's gonna take it on the back side, and he's gonna stick, he is gonna screw this piece into the steering rod, and then he'll slip the boot back over, um, and then he'll install the clamps, and everything will be back in place just as it would be on stock, with the new upgraded tie rods from L&W Fabrication. Uh, they're built, billet, uh, cut out on the CNC machines. The guys uh, that do that, they sit over there and they can pump out hundreds of these things a day um, with materials on hand. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's a really cool process. We've got some other videos that we mentioned earlier you can check out with that. All right, so it looks like we got that in place. And at this point, we're going to take a short break and we're going to bring Todd back on. And uh, Todd Keller with Keller Performance Products is going to help us get ready to set up the rest of the front end tighten everything down and we'll be ready to ride with confidence.